Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. And I, as you guys can see on my back, I have my mining pickaxe ready to rock and roll. And yes, that's what we're going to do today. We are going to go out to the Baltawa and we're going to see if we can do some mining. Uh, I'm a little bit paranoid because I know that if you run out of fuel, there's no way to come back. I know they added those are fuel depots. They've added them. I think recently and I think last year like in the middle of last year or maybe end of last year there was still no ways to refuel your ship so you had to go and buy a new fuel tank and add it into your ship so yeah and I also discovered like yeah look at this um all the people in the vicinity in this zone looks like it our groups they are friends I got no friends steam friends um yeah, there's like <laughs> nobody I know who can play uh, inbox and things. So yeah, this is pretty cool. You can see who is here and you can just invite a random person if you really want to. So this is just in this zone. It doesn't, it means that there might be people in the belt somewhere or maybe on the other stations. I think, I think that's what it means. Like if it works like an EVE Online, uh, every uh, area you go to in that area, you have a chat. In that zone you have a chat and that quadrant you have a chat and then there's like a global chat and whatnot and then there's like a bunch of other chats so anyways we are here to quickly grab our laborer that's what it's called i thought it was labrador <laughs> scrap the labrador here it is turn off our grav gravity sh uh shoes almost said ship but no shoes and uh board our ship and uh, I think, uh, did I mention this in the previous episode, like, uh, or any other episode? I changed up the controls so that it's not as violent, the ship trying to murder me. So we are sort of good to go. And I found out that this button must be activated, otherwise we will run out of battery power. Uh, as we can see, it is charging up one of the batteries. And uh, as if the engine is running, it's like an alternator in a car. The alternator charges your battery in your car, which runs your electronics. And um, if that doesn't work, then uh, you have no power whatsoever. So yeah, um, uh, what is the, not the same as an alternator is that you can just activate the generator well, on this ship. And then it will start re recharging. Um, the engine, you don't need to be flying forward or anything in order to activate. I thought I was like lagging or something. No, I don't want to do that. So let's uh, gently, gently go to these uh, refueling depots, the pots. And quickly refuel because I'm uh, very paranoid regarding that. We still have uh, many, many seconds. Yes, many seconds to... Um, before our ship responds so there we go jump out of the sh uh, the uh, seat and mm, i can't remember if i have my okay it's off all right uh is, is this good good enough plug it in and plug it in all right that is far enough good stuff and i'm just gonna say by all uh, i went and do did some of the mining did one of the jobs so we can get some money make sure that we are good to go in this uh department um so that is i don't know if this is good or not so you know what just do it man let's just let's just go and i know it's uh the further out you go the better the ore gets but it's also the same as in eve online where you in eve online you can be attacked anywhere we, here it is an elliptical shaped safe zone so we're safe uh, we cannot take any damage we can actually fly into any structure and not take any damage uh we can shoot each other not taking any damage or anything whilst in a safe zone so we're quite safe right so uh here we go into the plume we shall go and there's also a bunch of ships out here and oh power is it generator on yes so we're just gonna go like this oh man this looks so scary Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's so scary. There should be lightning strikes, like random lightning strikes or something. <laughs> it would be so cool. But yeah. Um, so, if you look in the chat down below here, we can see that uh, left channel station. 
So we, uh, we're still in the safe zone. That was the channel chat, uh, the station chat, and we left it because we went out of the borders of it. So goodbye. Ooh, look at this weird effect. Oh. That's weird. Oh, and the music changes, I think. Goodbye. Goodbye, crew world. Off to a grand adventure. What the F was that like? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, as far as I understand, this is how you go do mining. You know, we just go into the plume and see, uh, like, we will start seeing rocks and things pop up. And it should not take that long, I hope. Hope it's not taking too long. Um, and yeah, luckily we have a transponder on our ship, I think, which will indicate where we are, like the stations and whatnot behind us. So we would not really get lost and whatnot. And this is huge. This is very, very big. Um, there was a YouTuber I watched which showcased like how big this place actually is. This planet behind us with its ring, how big it is and how much space we're taking up. It is minuscule. It is a minor, tiny, tiny piece of space we're taking up. Oh, I thought I was like an asteroid, but no, it's just effects, particle effects. And I think there is an options in the op menu options, um, which will prevent us from accidentally going out of the safe zone. I hope. I hope. How's our feel? So I don't want to go too far, or like maybe this middle bar or that one, just to make sure we can turn around and go back to get. But as far as I understand, um, we are not using that much fuel. This is, uh, I'm not seeing any rocks or anything yet. I hope I'm doing it right. Man, I would look like a doofus, but as far as I understand, this is how you do it. This is how you go do mining. You have to fly out there, find the rocks, and then just, you know, mine a bunch of rocks. And in return, make profit. Step one, fly into the belt. Step two, mine. Step three, don't know. Step four, profit. But we should be seeing rocks by now. Or flying into them. Well, we're like 20 kilometers away. Am I doing it wrong? I should not be doing it wrong. Ah. Alright guys, you know what? Give me a second. Let's, uh, I want to see how far I can go into before we hit any rocks. And then I'll bring you guys back as uh, if anything else happens. So stay tuned. Alright, welcome back guys. Look, 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 look. We found it. We found stuffs. Wow. We were actually heading into that direction, like this dark area. And then I looked over to my side where the light is. And we're about 24 kilometers away. And I think the safe zone is 100 kilometers or something. So we're still quite in the safe zone. So, uh, yeah. We're, we're good. We're golden. Let's just get closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there. I want to get to that asteroid. All right. Yes, there we go. And I think we can... Use our RCS. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Alright, so. Um, we're good. We do not even use that much fuel, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, let's look at this bad boy. I don't know uh, all the ores and whatnot. I know you get like a ton of different ores. Uh, but uh, what I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start mining. You know, it's like it, this is what we need to do what we need to do so let's go ahead and plug ourselves in and equip our thing and as we saw in uh, the second episode like how we dismantle these asteroids my goodness brain farts we just break these up and I think we can just throw them away 
Just uh, get out of my way. Come on. Come on. Get. Get out of here. Uh, well, I don't care if it cannot go there. Uh, is there a way just to... I don't know if it, if it can be pushed. But we want this stuff. And then we suck it all in. Mm, yeah, give me all the goodness. The goody good good goodness. My goodness. I don't know if this is valuable or not, but... It's my first mining run. I'll take what I can get. And luckily we don't have to worry about food, water, oxygen, uh, those sort of things. So we're still, we're still good. We're still good. Hey, 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 settle down guys, settle down. There's plenty for everyone. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. And if we look in our inventory, is our collection, is that our container? Uh, we can actually pull that out because we don't <laughs> it's a cube <laughs> guys we're playing minecraft now what the hell <laughs> oh my goodness this is just hilarious yet what if we can mm, no 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 um also i want to check if this uh beam uses electricity if we just go over here and where's our battery over there. It's not battery one, battery two, battery three. It's not really draining them. So this Tever is not using any battery yet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got one, two, three, four, five crates. And then if we look at our inventory. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that uh it has quite a few It's almost full. Like what the hell? Um Okay, I don't know how valuable these things is. Things are. Not sure, but uh, I think we can hold in our own inventory some ore. I think. So we can. Let me just switch this off and see if we cannot find just maybe one more asteroid, and then we will go back and sell them. Uh, maybe buy more <laughs> or crates. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's see where, where, where is, where's Ma? Ma, this way. So, uh, we, we probably pick one. This way. And apparently it becomes much, much, much more dense the further in you go. Uh, all right, that looks like an interesting color. Stop, stop, I said. Uh, turn this way. No, 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 go this way. Down, down, down. No, you're going to crash. Okay, there we go. Plug ourselves in. And let's see. We got a headlamp, though. Uh, what do you have? Emaltrium and Agesium. Alright. Okay, just see if we can... Can we store... No, we cannot... Actually, no. We cannot store anything in our inventory. And we could have just, you know, tasted that <laughs> beforehand. But no, baboon. You had to jump the gun, right? Right, get, 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 get. Get out of here. Oh, it's not being sucked in because we're full. I mean, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to drop that and let those guys get sucked in. No, this is not what we want. You want these things. Oh my goodness. Get out of my inventory. Did I still catch it? It's still there. Alright, there it is. Yep. 
Yes, get collected. There we go. Lovely. All right. Oh my. Mm. There. Is it out of my inventory? Yes, it is. I'm gonna have some space. That. That not that that did not collect. Oh well. And yes. All right. So let us go. Do this. Uh, switch off our headlamp. Get in! And probably back to Origin Station. So, uh, let's do a trip and I will meet you guys back here. Oh, back at the Origin Station. So, hold on. And we're back. So, I think I found it. I just went straight to the shops. It's like, alright, let me sell the things. And like, oh no, okay, it's not there. <laughs> uh, then I remembered I saw this big sign over here that says credits with a asteroid being destroyed. So I figured like, why don't we just try this place? And oh and behold, there is actually platforms and whatnot. So I'm just scooching up over. Just a tiny bit. No, 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 go down. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Up, up, up. Okay, let me just do this. Uh, we are sort of oriented. Uh, don't lag. Oh, come on. I think that should be golden. <laughs> the orientation really can get me sometimes. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so we want this part to be connected to this part. Alright. And I think if we say chip, there we go. Grab boots off, there we go. And we are straight up. First of all, um, Bye. There we go. Everyone's oh, just a thousand credits worth. All right, cool. And, uh, yeah, let's see how much did we make? All right, so about 300,000. That was not a bad run, I would suggest. I would, well, I would think, not suggest, I would think. But uh, that's pretty cool. But we were limited by cargo capacity, so, hmm. I think what we will do at some point is see if we cannot expand this somehow. Um, it looks like there are space. Oh, like one more there, three more there, and over here is three more here. And if we get really creative, we can extend these parts and also then add a few more. Now, we just have to remember that... The more we add, the more power we are losing. That's the thing. Oh, what? Oh, yes. We did see that. Ah, okay. So, yeah, that is, that's pretty cool. And that's how you go mining, people. <laughs> I just like, didn't know about that. Um, so, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of today's episode. Thanks so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode for visiting the Baltimore. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I really did. It was fun to do. Uh, we will do this in the future again at some point. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.